What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Mile 22. Let's rock this. First of all, thanks to STX Films, I had the opportunity to interview one of Mile 22 co-stars, Indonesian martial art maestro Iko Uwais. This was actually my second interview article with Iko, which I published again in my native tongue language, Bahasa Indonesia. So you can check out the interview in its entirety at ramascreen.com. Enjoy. And now on to mile 22. I really, really wanted to like this movie because it features my fellow Indonesian, Iko, but I can't. I just can't. Mile 22 is poorly structured, poorly executed. It's one of the worst movies of the year. The story is incoherent. The fight scenes are not well shot. And the characters are all dicks, especially the one that Mark Wahlberg plays. None of them are likable. In its attempt to appear like a smart spy thriller, the movie instead comes off brute and unsophisticated. Directed by Peter Berg, the story is set somewhere in Southeast Asia. A CIA operative team led by Mark Wahlberg's character, James Silva, has been tasked with retrieving and transporting an asset who holds life-threatening information to Mile 22 for extraction before the enemy closes in. Look, I don't mind other cities or other countries posing as Southeast Asia on the screen. I mean, movies do that all the time anyway, using one location to play it off as another. So it's really a common practice, but Mile 22 doesn't do a good job of covering that up. There are just too many obvious things that give it away. Not to mention some of the subtitles or the captions for the Indonesian language translation are just incorrect. But I'm just nitpicking the littlest things here, of course. I tried and tried to think of probably one or two things that can be considered as positive points about this movie that I was hoping to address here, but I couldn't find any. I think the movie also suffers from the fact that it badly wants to be taken as some kind of a mashup between The Raid and Bruce Willis's 16 Blocks. But because Mile 22 doesn't know how to stage clever chases, it keeps resorting to explosions and gunfights aimlessly again and again. It's action cliches after action cliches. It injects itself with so much testosterone that even Lauren Cohen's character, who is a mom, she's even angrier than Mark Wahlberg. Speaking of whom, this is obviously not the first time Mark Wahlberg ever played a dick. Usually he carries some kind of a funny charm with him, like in The Departed, but not in Mile 22. Lesson learned? Never go full dick, because that's what Mark Wahlberg displays in this movie and it's a huge turnoff. Now on to the action. Most of the time, it feels like the work of a simpleton. John Malkovich plays a leader of the team that provides drone surveillance, and that part is not really removed from the film but they're also very incompetent. It's like having a B team watching your six. Not good. Not good. The characters in this movie talk to each other with smart-ass jabs and jargons like frat boys that try to break each other's balls, which can be amusing at times, but what's the point of all that if everything else about this movie is just messy and all over the place? I think the fight choreographies that Iko Uwais came up with are pretty hardcore and interesting, but much of it gets lost in the choppy cinematography and the mediocre editing work. Iko's character doesn't really do much except for the physical stuff, so I don't really have strong opinions about his performance overall. I wish I did, but I don't. I am, however, very proud of the fact that fellow Indonesian Iko Uwais kept showing up on the big screens here in America but Mile 22 being a shitty movie is not his fault. And lastly, there's a desperate attempt on this movie's part to throw you a humanity lifeline with regards to Lauren Cohen's character. But that part is never really fully formed, let alone explored to the point where it can pull you in to care just a tiny bit. Unfortunately, I think Mile 22 will end up as a case study for what not to do when making an action thriller. 
So that's it. That's my review of Mile 22. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTube verse. And as always, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. This latest review is made possible thanks to your support on Patreon. So please go to patreon.com slash ramascreen. Sign up there today and become my patrons. Let's rock this.